Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new Clash Royale episode and we are about to continue our Zero to Hero challenge, pushing back up into that legendary arena. Today we are going to be using an all spawner troll deck, every single thing in the deck is going to be a spawner. We're going to use a mirror card and the elixir collector as well guys, but just before we do get into the episode, one massive announcement to make. Yesterday I announced the 500,000 subscriber giveaway winners and today we are starting a brand new giveaway, so we are going to be giving away a mountain of gems guys very shortly and all you need to do to have a chance to win for itunes android and paypal is simply leave a like on this episode to show some support to the channel can we smash 6,000 likes guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners and of course don't forget to enter that completely free raffle link in the description box down below so as I said, that is a mountain of gems, 14,000 gems, $99.99, iTunes, Android, and PayPal. Now that we got that out of the way, it is time to build ourselves our spawner deck. So as I said, we are keeping the Elixir Collector, so that can stay inside of the deck, guys. Let's see how many of these spawner cards we can get. Now the one I always seem to forget about is the Tombstone. So we're going to put the Tombstone in straight away, just because I'll probably, I'll probably forget like five seconds later. Where is it? Let's get that mirror card in there as well, guys. So we want the mirror card. We want the... Uh, where's that little tombstone? Don't worry. We'll get it in there. We're going to chuck in the bar... Uh, what is that? The goblin hut. We want the barbarian hut. We want the furnace. We want the tombstone. Where's that furnace at, guys? There's the furnace. And we want to drop out the uh, the bomb tower there. We want the tombstone. Here we go, guys. The tombstone going to be chucked in as well. So I think that is every single one of the spawners. You've got the goblin, the barbarian, the furnace... And of course the tombstone, we got the elixir collector, we have the mirror card, and now it is time to choose the last two final cards. So let's just make sure we got all of the spawners. Okay, so we've successfully got every single one of the spawners inside of our deck, guys. So we've got to pick two more cards because of course we want to drop out the inferno tower and the tesla. So the two cards we're about to pick, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm literally just going to click on the screen. So let's see what happens. I've closed my eyes, guys. Three, two, one, boom, what is it? We got him. Yes, we got the prince. Not bad. Okay, we got the prince. We're going to do it again, guys. So three, two, one. Woo! What did we get? We got barbarians. Not bad. Barbarians in a barbarian hut. So that is the army, guys. We're going to go do some trolling inside of the Pekka's Playhouse as we push our way back up into the legendary arena. Arena 8. So let's go into the live battle. So here we go, guys. The Pekka's Playhouse. Let's see if we can get one of these elixir collectors. Yes, we can. Elixir collector going down straight away. So we're going up against the level 7. Shout out to uh, the Birkin Psyker. Let's see what we can do to this bad boy. So here we go. He's dropped in his level 8 barbarians. I'm going to counter him with my level 10 barbarians. No problem whatsoever for me. It shouldn't be any uh, too much of an issue. He's got his little skeleton army coming in as well. Damn. Whoa, we're getting overrun here, guys. We're getting overrun. We're going to have to drop down the other uh, mirrored barbarians there. Wow. This guy just wrecked my right-hand side sour. Not bad, not bad at all. But don't worry, guys. He ain't getting it down that easy. Now he's going to have to deal with my barbarians. So, of course, the mirror card does make your troop unit one level less, guys. So, the, uh, the barbarians I used at the start were level 10. And the mirror cards are level 9. So we're going to work on his mini pecker. Unfortunately, he has done a little bit of damage there. But not to worry. We've got the other uh, barbarian hut gun down now. And of course, the tombstone. So this prince isn't going anywhere. Here we go. This is where the uh, the spawner deck really starts to come into action. we got the furnace at the back there. Going to do splash damage to this little unit of barbarians. Damn, check that out. Done a huge amount of splash damage. And now we can also chuck down our second elixir collector on the left-hand side. So it's looking decent. we got the mirror card on deck. Let's see if we can build some more elixir. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, damn. All right. So, we've still got the tower, but he's done a lot of damage to some of my, uh, my, what is it? What was that? My barbarian hut. Oh, I just realized, guys, our barbarians actually reached his tower on the right-hand side of there and done a little bit of damage. So, we got his tower down to 1,000 hit points so far. I didn't really want him to take my tower, but I don't really mind, to be honest with you. So, we're going to let him take the tower. Actually, no. Let's stop that mini pecker. Don't let the mini pecker get the tower. Oh, no. I didn't want that to happen, but it doesn't matter, guys. Let's do this. Let's drop in the Barbarian Hut in front of the Crown Tower. And now let's see how many of these spawners we can actually build up. So the Barbarian Hut's over there. We're going to drop the Goblin Hut in on the left-hand side. We're going to drop down another Elixir Collector just behind on the left-hand side as well. So there we go. Three Elixir Collectors down. 
we can drop down a fourth one, which is what we are going to do. So there we go. The fourth one's gone down now as well. We're going to have to uh, see if we can defend against this prince. Obviously, we don't want this prince coming in. So here we go. Level 10 barbarians going down. Now we're going to need to take down that tower on the right hand side, guys, just to make sure that we don't actually lose this battle. So here we go. Gonna chuck down the second Barbarian Hut. Let's see if we can really start to push up here now. We're gonna chuck down a Goblin Hut as well. There are only 30 seconds left inside of this game, guys. We're gonna chuck down the Furnace. Let's see if we can really lay on some big pushes here. We're gonna go in with the Barbarians as well. We got those Spear Goblins taking out those, uh, those minions in the air. Here we go. This is where he's starting to get in trouble. This is going to be it, guys. We're dropping down many, many spawners now. Look at that. We got five spawners on the deck on front of the... Uh, oh, one just died. Barbarian Hut died. But there goes the second Barbarian Hut. We're about to take down his tower. There's only a few seconds left in the game. You can do it. No! No way. Check that out, guys. Nine hit points left. Wow. Okay, okay, so that, that went a little bit bad. I kind of messed up at the start there, but we're going to do it again. This time, should we change one of these cards? Should we drop out the prince? Let's drop out the prince. Let, let's let's close our eyes again and just choose another card. So here we go. Three, two, one. What have we got? We got a rocket. No, that sucks. Let's not use a rocket. That sucks. Three, two, one. Skeletons. No, they suck as well, guys. All right, th we're going to have to go with this one. Let's do it. Three, two, one. All right, we got the wizard. We'll use the wizard. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so this time we're going to go in for another life attack, guys. Remember, this is just a game. I don't care about winning. I don't care about losing, guys. So if you've made it this far into the episode, guys, I want you to go down below into that comment section and comment hashtag legendary deck or hashtag most expensive deck. What deck do you want me to use next? You have to choose one. If I said to you, you have to choose one, Otherwise, you don't get no food tonight. Which one were you going to choose, guys? Would you choose the legendary deck? Comment hashtag legendary deck. Or would you choose the most expensive deck? Comment hashtag most expensive deck. Check that out. We've got two elixir collectors down on the map already. I couldn't have asked for a better start. Back up against the level 7. Shout out to NS Warrior. Let's see if we can do a little bit better against him this time. So first, uh, first collector. Sorry, first hut is going down. Barbarian hut down there. He's sending in a cry face. I don't quite know why. Why is he doing that for? Who cares, guys? Let's drop in the uh, the goblin hut over there as well. Now we're gonna be dropping in the uh, we're gonna we're not we were gonna drop in the furnace, but I'm not going to because we've actually got the uh, the elixir collector coming up, and I want to put another elixir collector down. So we're gonna have four elixir collectors down on the map already, which is I think the fastest I have ever done it. So he's got that musketeer on the right hand side. Could cause a little bit of a problem, but I don't really think it will. Nope, the barbarians have come out of the hut, guys. Not gonna be too much of an issue, hopefully. As long as they get a couple of shots off on the, uh, let's just chuck down some barbarians there just to protect against those, those oncoming troops. Let's see what we can do. So we've got four elixir collectors down. I would prefer to have five or six. Here we go. He's got a strong push coming in on the left hand side. This is where the wizard is going to be very helpful to take out these minions and the dragon. Yep, Mr. Wizard. Level six wizard there doing a great job. So we got the, uh, the barbarian hut going back down. We just lost two of the elixir collectors. So we're going to drop down one. And then we're going to mirror it, guys, and get the second one back down onto the map. So we've got four Elixir Collectors down once again in a few seconds' time. And we're about to go into overtime. So here we go. It is time to start building loads of these uh, these little uh, these spawners, guys. So let's see how many spawners we can get down. This is going to be pretty ridiculous if we can get down maybe five, six spawners. So we're going to chuck down the Barbarians to make sure that we don't... Oh, look at that. Six Barbarians. We don't want to lose our Barbarian Hut there. So we're going to drop down the second level seven Barbarian Hut. Elixir is coming in thick and fast now, guys. Let's check it out. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. This is looking pretty damn awesome. We got the other uh, goblin huts in on the left hand side there as well. We're going to be chucking down the tombstone up at the front. We have about five or six spawners down on the map now. We're going to be chucking in the furnaces. This is looking pretty damn crazy. It looks like we're about to lose the uh, the barbarian hut there, but we got the replacement ready. There we go, guys. Check the amount of spawners in on that right hand side. That is insane. We're going to drop down the goblin hut. It looks like we're going to be at a stalemate here, actually. But it's time to back up some of our troops. Let's chuck in the wizard. Let's see if the wizard can do a little bit of splash damage. Double wizard. Let's go in with the mirrored wizard. This should be game over now. If the wizards and the uh, the rest of the troops can push down on that right-hand side, then it looks like we may be able to take out the tower. Am I going to be right, guys? Are we going to get some shots off? We're getting some shots off onto the tower, taking it down to very low hit points there. 918. But check the tower on the left-hand side. Those goblins have been very sneaky, just slowly pushing up on that left hand side without no one realizing so we're gonna drop down the furnace guys at level seven furnace you know what let's go in with a mirrored furnace mirror the furnace there we go two furnaces gonna be able to helpfully deal with that level what is that level two dragon getting taken out in seconds 
We are up to 400 and something hit points, guys. Let's try and finish him off now. Let's see if we can do one push on this left-hand side. Here we go. Down go the Barbarians. We're going to send in the Harry Potters just behind. Harry Potter's going in. Can we take out the... Uh, it's got 400... Oh, it's got 400 hit points. Come on, Wizard. Take out the Minions. No. No, guys. Look how close it is. We've arrived at the tower on the right-hand side. Mr. Barbarian and the Goblins are taking it down. 200 hit points. Only seconds remaining. And it was... It was the Fire Spirit which took it down. The Fire Spirit had the final kill. So let's be a little bit of a troll, guys. Give him a little cry face. There we go. There we go. So that is going to be the end of the episode. Don't forget to comment down below in that comment section. Hashtag legendary deck or hashtag most expensive deck. Which one do you want to see me push to legendary league next? We are probably going to have to do a serious push now, guys, because we're still in the, uh, the Arena 4. I mean, I was in, I was at 3,500 trophies a while ago, and it's been a while since we've been inside of the Legendary Arena. So I think it's time we get back up there. Don't forget to leave a like on this episode, and of course, subscribe to the channel to have a chance to win yourself a mountain of gems. I will see you very shortly for another one, guys. I love you all. Have a great Wednesday. Peace out.